uh, what is going on today YouTube today we're going to be replacing the batteries and the backup UPS 1500 uh, first and foremost you're going to want to put uh, push the two tabs down on the black casing remove that then from there you're going to see the two batteries you're going to want to pull those batteries up and you're going to want to disconnect the black or the negative terminal first and then disconnect the red or the positive terminal then also disconnect the yellow wire connecting the positive and negative terminals and then remove the batteries and from here we're going to be using PowerStar brand batteries these batteries are really good to be used in UPS devices uh, simply due to the fact they yield or carry a three-year full replacement warranty uh, when used in UPS or float applications uh, you're going to want to reconnect the negative and the positive uh, terminals via the wire provided from the UPS device and then continue to connect the negative and positive wires and it should be at this point uh, the UPS can now operate sufficiently or on its own uh, just based on the power from the batteries and once the batteries are secured back into the UPS go ahead and put the faceplate on simply just by sliding it along the edges Once the faceplate is snapped back into place, you can now properly orient your um, UPS device and you should be able to turn it on. And from there you can see on the battery the device is currently able to power for approximately 141 minutes. And then we are going to plug it into the wall just to make sure that it does do the switch over. And as you can see now, it is online or connected directly to alternating current or the AC outlet. And that is how you change your batteries in your Backdash UPS 1500.